What's up, Mirror here with another Elix video. This is where we left off in a previous one, so let's continue. You should be able to make your way on alone from here. You can find supplies and get yourself back on your feet in Goliath. And then, the choice will be yours. So I can just leave whenever I want. You should try to get a better weapon and some armor before heading into the wastelands, but that's up to you. Have a look around our community. See what we can offer you. What happens if you find an alb here? They try and kill us, so we kill them. Except the Separatists, a group of albs that has broken away from Zaykor. Maybe they could be allies. Okay, let's uh, go with the second answer. You think the Separatists will help you fight the albs? Maybe these Separatists want to join the Free People. Maybe they're just another threat. But I'm sure that together, we can defeat the Alps. But for now, the Separatists are outnumbered, without friends and defiant. They're already finding life is hard out here if you haven't joined one of the factions. That makes them jumpy, so I'd be careful around them. They're suspicious of everyone. Well, we have reached Goliath, but this is only the start of your journey. Look for me once you've settled in. You'll find me up at Warlord Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Okay, I was checking something. Uh, there was a bug I had to restart the game. The name weren't disappearing, and now it, everything works fine. All right, you can stop there. In the name of the Hooded Crows, and with a power invested in me by the Warlords of Goliath, I hereby challenge you to state who you are and what you want. You should know that Goliath is eternally vigilant in its search for Alps. Okay, we can say the Duras sent us. Duras sent me here. Oh, you're one of Duras's hand me ons, are ya? You better think about reporting to Ragnar. Or one of the other warlords when you get in then. They'll check you're not an Alb spy. Alright, alright. You can go in. But all weapons must remain sheathed. Start anything, and a paladin will turn you to ash faster than you can say, I wish that Duras guy hadn't sent me here. Oh, and don't steal anything, or flash technology around. I don't expect any more or less from you. Understood. Good. Then I welcome you in the name of the Berserkers. Okay, let's uh, ask who is in charge. Who is in charge here? As long as Thorold, the great pilgrim and master of all magic, is away on retreat, Ragnar, warlord of the Hooded Crows, is in charge. Warlord of warlords, mighty and just, he is an example to us all. I wouldn't go knocking on his door unless you're serious about joining us. But you might get lucky and see him in the lower quarter. He likes to keep an eye on things personally. Right, got it. That's why Duras sent you here? To be recruited? You better join us and not the outlaws if you want to live. Follow the laws, impress people, and Ragnar might see fit to let you become a berserker. Break the laws, and we'll break you. So, your leader Thorold is not in the city? No. Master Thorold, the pilgrim, glorious, great, and wise, has gone into retreat. There he seeks answers. From there he will return to bring us victory. He will return as soon as his mission is successful. Until then, he has given Warlord Ragnar command of Goliath. Okay, I've got it. Who are the Hooded Crows? We are the warrior clan of the Berserkers. Our Warlord Ragnar, proven in battle, worthy defender of Goliath, leads us as we stand to defend our cause from all who would oppose it, from within or without. We stand as guardians for fairness and justice, equality and order. All who wish to join the Berserkers must answer to Ragnar. It sounds like you're expecting trouble. Outlaws, clerics, and now the Alps starting wars, and that's before we talk about mutants. Where have you been if you don't think there's trouble in the world? But don't worry, you'll be safe here. No Alps getting past me. Is there somewhere I can stay in Goliath? Maybe, down by the tavern or with the cultivators. Try the lower quarter. There's room there for honest men. 
Pay your way, or work for your stay, and you'll be welcome. We are the protectors of Magalan, and we welcome all free people here. So, what can I do to earn my stay? Can you handle a weapon? Yes. Then you'll find work. We're short of people since the attacks began. This place doesn't sound too safe. Where is? With the Albs looking to tear down this whole world. You're short of people? Everyone's lost people to the Albs. Workers, cultivators, warriors. They're all looking for more hands. You'll need to earn your place. But there are tasks for all hands. And the shards to pay for them. You use shards as money? What else are you going to use? Everyone uses Alexa as money. And don't start on with trying to barter your way with raptor shit. You'll need Alexa, or decent old world scrap if you want to make a deal. Okay, so we know that we should be talking to Ragnar, and I know where he is. So let's uh, do that first, then uh, we will explore the town. By the way, uh, you should have figured out by now we are an alb uh, and uh, we almost got killed. And these guys do not like the albs that much, so let's see the next conversation. This is Ragnar. So, and what is your crime? Um, what? I am Warlord Ragnar, patron of this berserker settlement while Master Thorold is on pilgrimage. Anyone who commits a crime must answer to me. Emissaries from the other communities also have to speak to me first. So, are you an emissary? Why are you here? Speak. Okay, so we have an option to confess that we are an uh, Alb. Um, we can say that we are not uh, from here. We can say we are not. We are nobody. Or we can say we do not have to explain ourselves, but. Uh, it's not that bad idea to tell them that we are an Alp defector since uh, Dora said uh, that uh, Alps, uh, there are Alp separatists that uh, they want actually to have an uh, okay relationship with, but they do ha hate Alps. So, in the first playthrough, I actually confessed that uh, I'm a defector and it's okay. But uh, let's try uh, the second answer. I'm actually not from Idan. Oh, hopefully you have good news from the other lands. Otherwise, this will be a very short guest performance for you here. So you had better think very carefully about your next answer. Again. What exactly do you want here? Well, uh, we can uh, try the first one. I'm looking for work. You can prove yourself by helping the people of Vidan. There is more than enough work to go around. So if you want to be tolerated here, you must follow my rules. These rules are very simple. If you harm the Berserker community, you will pay. If you serve the community, you will receive fair compensation for it. I hope we understand one another, because if not, you will have to answer to me. Is that clear? <laughs> well, we'll go with the first answer. You're the boss. Yes, correct. The quicker you understand that, the better for you. Heed my advice, and you will find the Berserkers to be good hosts. Is there anything else? Okay, there are a lot of uh, questions that we can ask, so let's get started. Master Thorold, what kind of man is he? Thorold is not here at the moment. The Warlords are in charge of the day-to-day -day running, though all owe their allegiance to him. The Pilgrim. He has taken it upon himself to go into retreat, to seek the answers we need for Idan to survive. His knowledge of magic is superior to anyone's. 
If there is any person capable of solving the problems we face, it is the Pilgrim. Do you think the Berserkers can stop the Alps from conquering Edan? The Berserkers raised Edan from wasteland to forest. This is our home, and we will hold it. I heard you had taken heavy losses. War takes its toll. The clerics fought us, the outlaws have raided us. Now we must face the Alps. But the Berserkers' roots run deep into the ground here. And we have something to fight for. With magic, with self-belief, and hard steel, we have returned as many dead Alps to Zekor as they have left Berserkers dead and dying here. Cormag, Angram, and myself will see the Berserkers stand firm. Talk to Angram if you want to know more. How is your war against the Alps going? Our war? This isn't a war of our choosing. They attacked us. Then they sent a party to construct a converter in the north of Edan. You'll find the metallic ruins of it there, and the soil around that monstrosity holds the bones of the Alves that came with it. Since then, they have raided, rather than try to hold ground in Edan. But who knows where and when they will strike next, here or in Tavar or Ignadon. The war has hurt them, no doubt. Even their own kind has rebelled. There's a group of Alps separatists to the north. They continue their love of Elix machines, but they are fighting their own kind. Where can I find Angram? Look for him in the Warrior's Quarter, near the Mana Shrine. Where is the Warrior Quarter? That would be near the Mana Shrine. If you wish to find something in Goliath, Take your feet out of the door and find someone else to be your tour guide. Where can I buy armor like yours? Ha! <laughs> you can't simply buy a warlord's armor. You don't even have the rank of a cultivator, let alone that of a warrior. And you want warlord's armor? Why not? Slow down, friend. First proved to me that you would be a good cultivator. So, make yourself useful in the city and we can talk about better armor for you. Let's assume I help you out. Yes? What kind of special tasks would you have for me? Special tasks? Why would you figure that I need someone who can do more than just the usual? Because I see what's going on here. <laughs> Is it that obvious that we have some problems here in Goliath? Okay, the second answer is not a good idea. Let's go with the first one. Yes, it's apparent. I have to admit I underestimated you. At least you're observant. But it also takes guts to confront me. Hmm, so you really want to help us out? Yes. There are many things to be done. Our people are dedicated, but we still have supply shortages. Food, medicine, machine parts, and other equipment. There are too few cultivators in the fields. Speak to the people here, and they can tell you where your skills are best used. Earn their trust, and you may earn mine. And if you're planning to join us, then I will have a very special task for you. A lot of people come to me, looking to join us to climb the ranks. You look like you have ambitions. If you earn my trust, you'll go far here. You said something about a special job if I want to join you. Correct. Then listen well. You must have sensed it out there. That things are changing. That something is happening. If we are going to survive and prosper, if we're to stand a chance against the Alps, I need to know what's going on there. That's where you come in. I need information about the other factions. Any information would be useful. But if you could bring me a report from the fort in Tavar, that would be very useful. So, be it the outlaws, a trip to the Dome City in Abessa, or word from the clerics in Ignodon, I need information. Bring me a report from at least two cities.
Why don't you send one of your people? Sending a Berserker might get the other factions worried. Or they simply might not talk to one of us. Or worse, talk, but lie. You, on the other hand, might get some proper answers. Now, I can give this job to someone else if you would prefer. But then you would be passing up the chance to prove yourself. The journey will have dangers. But if you stick to the path, you should reach the other cities alive. So, what will it be? Will you prove yourself? Impress me, and you will earn not just a lexit, but favor, promotion, honor. We don't trust the secrets of our magic to just anyone. If you want such rewards, you need to earn them. About my support. What do I need to do? Ask around the city. Help the people here, and they will give a good report of you to the warlord of their clan. Some are overburdened, or are doing things that are not in line with the law. Lend them a hand, and uphold our rules. And that means... Don't do anything forbidden by our laws. It is that simple. I don't work for free. Nor should you. A man must know his value. Then you will pay me? You will get paid for the tasks you're given. You could pay more. A man should know his value. You will get paid, and you should be satisfied with the rewards you're given. No one will cheat you here. But you should not expect charity. Is there anything else that I can do for you? You seem to take this seriously. That's good. Since I can't pass off my duties on to you, you will have to make yourself useful in another way. The cultivators are constantly bothering me with their requests. That needs to stop. Oh, and Erdor hasn't sent back any reports from the World Heart lately. Find out if he's all right, and if he needs anything. As you can see, there's always something to do here. Where is the World Heart? To the south of Goliad, down the path. Chances are he's just busy tending to it. But I don't want to leave that to chance. We cannot afford for anything bad to happen to it. How am I doing? You must do more if you want to fit in here. Earn those pledges and you will earn my approval. Okay, so we need to impress uh, Ragnar if we want to join uh, the Berserkers. I do actually want to do all the quests uh, before I jo join the faction, so we will do quests uh, in uh, Berserker Town, then we will go to Outlaws and Clerics and uh, do the quests there, and in the end we will join one of the factions. You should come with me, see something more than Goliath. With all the wounded there are these days, we can hardly keep up. That's more of a reason. If we keep doing the same things, this war won't end. Nothing we can do will end this war. Someone has to do something. Doing the same thing again and again, it's insane. But what can be done that the warlords haven't done already? We can take a risk. Isn't it more important that we win this war rather than how we win it? Come with me. I need someone to watch my back when I go look for some supplies. And I know I can trust you. I can't leave. Stormson, Cauldron is counting on me. And there are so many wounded. You patch them up. I want to give people a chance to fight back. If I can pull this off, you will have fewer wounded to worry about. Okay, so we can talk to them, but... Uh... Actually, I want to go and talk to the more important people first. And uh... hey, did you know there were some weapons brought back here to Goliad? Energy weapons taken from the clerics? I'd be interested in getting a look at them if you know how I could get a chance to do that. Okay, so we got interrupted there. Uh, those are the weapons that we collected in the ruins, uh, but uh. We shouldn't uh, decide 
right away this is the mistake I made uh, the first time I played so let's try not to give him weapons right away because there is another another quest giver who also wants the weapons so and if I did know something about them that would be good for both of us listen what I need is some help Let's be straight. You recently tracked down a pair of cleric weapons, didn't you? Is that an accusation? This is a small town with lots of big mouths. There aren't really that many secrets. So, have you given those weapons over to the pit? Or do you still have them? I know some people who would be happy to pay for them. The berserkers don't want them. The clerics do. Are you some sort of traitor? Me? No, no, I'm no traitor. I just know some interested parties who would like to get hold of those weapons. I'm sure they would be grateful for your help. You'd be making some useful friends. Friends? You mean you're a cleric, or you know someone who is. That sort of accusation can get someone killed, so don't go shouting that at me. I'm no use to you dead. Besides, you can do with a friend, and the shards they bring. Okay, I can't remember if uh, I ask him uh, if he's what he's willing to pay him if I have to give him a weapon. So let's try that, but I really do not want to. What will you pay me for them? Of course, of course. I can offer you Alexit if you give them to me. That would only be fair. And should you wish to learn more about technology, I could point you to where answers can be found. Okay, so I really do not want to give him weapons because that will get us in uh, trouble later on with the Berserkers. Uh, the Berserkers do not like uh, the technology and if we want to earn the trust, trust of the Berserkers, we shouldn't do this. No, your Alexit isn't worth the risk. Then superstition wins over reason. A loss for us all. Go, hand them in. A shame. I thought you would be clearer thinking than the others here. You don't think technology should be forbidden? Look at the people here. They want to change the world, but they're doing it one handful of soil at a time. You're staying here although you don't like it. There's something wrong about you. Tell me the truth. Okay, okay, you seem to have figured it out. Well... It's safer here, behind these walls, than out there with the mutants. Particularly if you don't have an energy weapon. I was traveling in Idan with a comrade to scout for men and material. We found ourselves cornered by some mutants. I was the only one to survive the attack. I ran like there was no tomorrow, and left my weapon behind. I'm glad they found me and brought me to Goliat. Besides, there are things to learn here. The more people I can convince while I am here, the better it is for everyone. So, is there anywhere to trade here? That depends what you want to buy. Traders need to be authorized, and what they can sell is restricted. You'll need to look elsewhere if you want energy weapons. Or anything more advanced than a hand-sharpened stick. And whatever you want to buy. You'll need to find the shards to pay. I could offer you some food as a gift. But... Well, since you disagreed with me about the cleric's weapons, I'd expect you'd refuse an offer of food, too. Is there anything else you don't like about berserkers? Don't get me wrong, the people here can be fair. They help those around them. And there's the wonder that is berserker magic. And... If you follow their laws, you will find acceptance here. All of which is a thousand times better than you can expect from the outlaws. The people of Tavar might as well be mutants, the way they turn on everyone and everything. What I don't understand is the hatred for clerics here. The wars of the past are long gone. The enmity should be buried. Certainly the clerics believe differently about technology, but that's no reason to hate them. Is it? 
It sounds like you've learned a lot about the clerics. What about you? Are you going to pledge allegiance to the Berserkers? Run off to the outlaw way of life? Or follow an interest in technology to the clerics? Okay, so we can find out more. We already know a lot of... Uh... Well, not a lot, but we know about uh, the clerics, outlaws, and the berserkers. But let's ask anyway. I'd like to know more about the clerics. Is that so? You want to learn of Kalan and the technology he offers those who follow him? I'm not sure that life in Ignadon would suit you. Technology is far from forbidden there. In fact, it's seen as Magalan's best hope. And your decision to give the plasma weapons to Yora, well, that makes me think you don't share that belief. Tell me more about the clerics. You know about the comet that struck our planet? Well, back before the impact, Magellan had technology that could take you into space or to the bottom of the ocean. So? So the clerics want to see that Golden Age return. We don't want to abandon all the things our people achieved. The clerics think that, with Kalan's guidance, technology can sort out this mess of a planet. That it can mean safety and progress for all the free people. Wisdom guide. Okay, so he was a cleric and we find that found out a bit more about clerics. And I didn't want to give him the energy weapons because uh, that will get us in trouble and I do want to join each faction so I will do all the quests that are uh, related to the factions, to all the factions and then uh, I will join one then go back to that uh, save game before I join the faction and join the other one and so on so basically you will see all the factions all the quests and everything so let's talk to the next guy welcome to the mana shrine have you been sent here with a task or are you here in search of a healer speak now or have you taken a vow of silence Okay, so we can ask him if he is a healer. Let's go with that. Your healers here? Ah, well, you will find healers among us. But you will learn we also use the name for those who heal Magellan. Perhaps not Amric's best choice of name, but we're in the habit of using it now. We cure Magellan from the curse of Elix, and from that curse, we bring the blessing of mana. It sounds like you're doing good work. Saving our world. The only work that matters. This is the Mana Shrine, where Elix is turned from poison to nectar. One day, all Elix will come here, and Magellan will be free from its influence. Until then, we must contend with the danger here. The power released from Elix can make the Shrine a hazardous place. Please, be careful here. The power of Elix. Tell me, who are you? You've not said what you're doing here. Something brought you here, didn't it? You were drawn to this place. Okay, so we can give ourselves up or uh, we can cover for ourselves. And actually, this guy is not that... Uh, he won't be that upset that we are an Alp, so we can go with that answer. I was an Alb, but I'm free from Elix now. Then you are an Alb no more. It is Elix that turns a man into an Alb. Without that poison, you are free to make your own choices. You have told me who you were. Now you, now we, will find out who you are. Please understand, whatever feelings are new to you, every person faces that same struggle. It is the struggle Magellan suffers from, too. She is dosed with Elix. She has it in her veins, as you did. But Magellan does not suffer from temptation. 
You must feel the lure of Elix to your bones, the power it offers. Resist it. One sign of you giving in to the temptation of Elix, and I will be forced to report you. If this world gives in to Elix, it will consume us all. So, how do you transform Elix? Transmute. We transmute Elix. We place the Elix in the mana shrine. There is something in this mountain, the way the rock was changed by the comet. As the Elix passes through, it is changed, purified into mana. If you bring anything that has been altered by Elix close to the shrine, you can feel it. You're comfortable with an alb living in Goliath? An alb is a man who has become a slave to Elix. It seems to me that you have freed yourself. That makes you a rare individual. Still, you are wise to be wary. There are those here who would kill you if they learn your background. But though it is not one of our written laws, it is central to our beliefs and to me that we should give all those who wanted a second chance. If you are prepared to leave your past behind, you should be given a chance. Are you willing to do this? Okay, so we can ask about the Berserker's laws. What are the laws? The laws were laid down by Amrak when he founded the Berserkers. But what matters is the spirit of the law. Protect Magellan. That is what Amrik truly intended when he founded the Berserkers. Whatever words and interpretations have been added to Amrik's words, it is Magellan's future that counts above all. What do you do with the mana? Our mana is everything. It is life itself. It is mana that allows us to do magic. No other faction of the free people can do that. The mana potions we make give us that ability. It makes our warriors stronger, more powerful than any of the Alb's machines. But it doesn't just make us strong, it also makes the world blossom. Look around. All of this is the work of our world hearts. World hearts? World hearts are the center of everything we do. The heart of the berserkers. They are plants we enrich with mana. They bring the soil back to life. Will you trade me some mana for Elix? Gladly. Okay, so we can uh, trade uh, Elix to get mana. And this is not a, uh, the currency, but the natural Elix that is used for uh, crafting potions. And I do not want to do this. And we can do the last one. What do you do here other than give free advice? As I have already explained, I oversee the mana shrine here. As Amrik said, our hope for Magellan is that all Elix shall become mana, that from mana Magellan will be reborn. From wasteland shall spring forest, for we are the healers of the world. So, the workers bring the elix to us, and we transmute it at the mana shrine. Well, that is supposed to be what happens, but people don't seem able to stick to their tasks. How does mana help you cast magic? That we have yet to understand, though we do study it. Even now, Thorold the Pilgrim has withdrawn from elix to study its mysteries in the hope we can grow stronger. Those who cast magic will tell you that while the Albs lose their emotions closing off their minds, mana opens the mind, connects you and the world. Isn't mana addictive like Elix? It is the power of mana that is addictive, not the substance itself. You can see that in Goliath. We don't need mana like the Albs have to have their Elix. And we use a lot less. Most of the elix we find is given to our seedlings. Mana puts our bodies and minds in harmony with the magic we use. 
For us, it is natural. The energy the elves use in magic is torn from the world. It damages them and it damages the world. You say people aren't doing their tasks. Yes, the biggest problem we have is temptation. Elix corrupts people as it does the planet. Last week, five large pieces of Elix disappeared from the shrine before it could be transmuted, at the same time as Kral, one of our guards. So Kral stole the Elix? I think Kral is the thief, but thinking is uncertainty. The searches for him and the Elix have come up empty, and I have no idea why he would take the Elix. Maybe. Where would I need to start looking for Kral? Well, that is the question, isn't it? The guards tried Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Kral spent a lot of time up there, sitting out on the main balcony. He's a thinker. While the guards might have been there already, they aren't the best of investigators. Maybe you will have more fortune if you look there. Okay, so we finished with that. Uh, next, I want to talk to the other worlds. Uh, and then uh, we will see. But uh, the video is already 37 minutes long, so... Let's pick up the quests and uh, maybe in the next one we will start uh, solving them. So here is actually a vendor that we can uh, buy armor from him. Hey, watch it there! Uh, I hate it when people mess with my stuff. Do you think the armor in this place makes itself? Well, you wouldn't be the only one, but let me tell you it's not true. Damned hard work makes it. My damned hard work. So don't get in my way. Can I get some of this armor? I am only authorized to hand out equipment to anyone who has earned it. A cultivator isn't allowed to wear the armor of a paladin. That armor goes with that rank and that honor. So, if you want a set of it, you'll have to work to earn it. I'd like to trade. Pick your armor, choose your weapon, and we can trade. Okay, so we can buy some stuff from him. And uh, it's actually a good idea to find our uh, stuff in the world and uh, not to buy, the, buy it in the beginning because uh, you will need money for other stuff and we can also buy weapons from him and, uh, and the armor and uh, we will find this hunter armor soon and it's not a good idea to uh, spend the money but we can also sell stuff here so we have uh, two rusty axes we do not actually need it and we can sell this iron bar and we have worker pants and i do not really want to sell uh, this stuff now maybe some stuff later on uh, there are some stuff that are really not needed like uh, uh, there it is or a lamp, uh, we do not use that, or a fine cup, or a mug, or a casket. Uh, I think we do not need toilet paper. Cigarettes, like I said, they are really useful to sell. Uh, hammer, we do not actually need it. And that should be about it. And I wanted to point out that we have this uh, natural elixir. Uh, you shouldn't be using it like this. It does give you frost resistance. And maybe uh, you will find use for it to consume it. But it's actually used for crafting uh, potions. And you can also trade it for mana. And so just do not use it <laughs> like this. Also we have plants. Uh, and we can craft potions from them. That is for now. And uh, in the third uh, tab, we can uh, see what we bought and what we sold. And we can uh, either reset the trade or accept the trade. And let's accept the trade. 
and this is the house of the next uh, warlord. So let's speak to him. Another one? I swear if security had been this lax in the days of Eric Eisenfaust, we'd all be clerics. What are you seeking here, stranger? Safety? A new start? Meaning? All those things can be offered to those who accept our laws. Who are you? My name is Angram. It is my duty, along with the other warlords, to ensure the laws are kept and the Berserker way preserved. We offer protection to those from outside who understand that Edan is working to help Magalan. Stick to the laws, respect our ways, and you will find Goliath welcoming. Break the laws, show contempt and punishment will follow. You will have a fair chance here if you understand that. Okay, so we can ask more about the laws. Tell me more about these laws. Steal, lie, cheat, kill, and justice will be swift. But our laws are more than that. Berserker laws tell us who we are. Millions died when the comet hit. Our whole species was headed for extinction. And you've seen it out there. People are doing their best to finish that job. War. Chaos. Elix technology. What chances have they given us? Nature. Rebuilding what was lost. That's the only way we can survive. Berserker laws were created to help us achieve that. What are the Berserker laws? They were laid down by Amrek, who founded the Berserkers. They put people before war, before machines. The only thing above us is law. So says the first article that forbids anyone from preaching of gods or machines. The second law says pure elix is a curse on Magellan. All pure elix and technology made from it is forbidden and must be placed in the pit. Our third law states that world hearts are sacred. No damage can be done to them or their seedlings. The fourth law says mana must be preserved. Nature can purify elix. This has given us the gift of magic, and we must use it sparingly. The fifth law states all free people are equal. All must be given protection when it is asked for. All may repent their ways and join the berserkers. Now, as a warlord, it is my job to keep the laws in the pilgrim's name. So, I welcome you, incomer. Okay, so we can ask what the punishment is. What happens when the law is broken? The warlords will hear evidence and pronounce sentence. Trade without a license, steal or cheat, and exile will follow. Break one of the five laws, and justice may be harsher. Our laws preserve us, and so we must preserve the law. Who are the Berserkers? They're everyone you've seen in this town, and anyone beyond who believes this world can be saved. Do you want to believe that? That there's a hope? We don't need gods or machines. That forest out there, that grew from wasteland in just 200 years, from seed to tree, we are a new beginning for all. What do you think about the clerics or the Alps? What are we supposed to think? They're steeped in blood and governed by superstition. The clerics speak of God, but they worship their machines and never forget that their blessed religion gave birth to the Alps. Elix corrupts all it touches. Whatever you think of the outlaws, they make no excuses for their behavior. They are out for themselves, but they believe in mankind. Can't you use technology to help nature? Technology is an addiction. First one machine, then another and another. It is better to live without that temptation. It's persuading the weak-minded of that. We might know technology is a weakness, but its draw is pulling in recruits. Even now, I know there is someone here in Goliath spreading the lie of the machine. They are preaching that technology will be our salvation. This damned cleric must be found and stopped. I was told there was work here. If you have taken our laws to heart, then yes, there is something you can help me with. 
I agree to follow the laws. Visit Jorah at the pit. All the captured weaponry from the last ALB attack has been stored there. Bring me one of the Elex weapons. I'll get you the weapon. Follow the law and do service. Those are the only ways you will earn my trust. Speak to Jorah if you have any more questions. Now go. About the cleric. Okay, we already know who the cleric is and we can accept that quest. Uh, if we want to let the cleric go, we can uh, skip this quest, but... Uh, I kind of want to do all the quests and uh, I want to be good to berserkers basically uh, to gain their trust so I will do what their agreement asks. I can find whoever is preaching here. You can, can you? What makes you think you can succeed? I know who's preaching for the clerics. Are you certain? I don't want to go making false accusations. I've met him, spoken to him. What miserable drones and traitors have I given shelter to that they will let this cleric live? He knows our laws, and the penalty for spreading false religion is death. Carry out that sentence. Kill that cleric. Heed the... Okay, so in the, in the first run I actually give the weapons to a, a cleric and screw up a lot of things. And that ended up uh, not working so well. You can join uh, the Berserkers even if you like screw up all the quests, they will let you join, but you will have to pay a penalty. <laughs> and hopefully I didn't spoil that much for you, but mm, I wanted to tell that. Hopefully it's not a big spoil. And uh, I wanted to open that teleport and now we will go speak to the last warlord. I'm not sure if we really need to kill the cleric because I didn't do that in uh, first run. Maybe we can just uh, tell him to get out of here, basically run from the Goliath and that way we kind of be in the middle. Not the bad guy, but still uh, impress the warlord, so we'll see, I'm not sure. This game, uh, the dialogue has a lot of uh, options, so every playthrough you can do something differently. And even if I recorded like a lot of hours of this game, I still wouldn't go through all the dialogue and everything. And there's Duras, uh, but we'll talk first to the next warlord. warlord. And there he is. Welcome, incomer. I hope you are being treated well. Goliath has always opened its doors to those who need shelter. But these are hard times, and war grows suspicions. As for me, I think the free people should work together in this war with the elves. Will I have trouble here? It will mostly be talk. People gossip about incomers. If you want the people here to trust you, then help them. Once they do, they will open their doors to you. You will have a place to stay, a chance to become one of us, and they will likely reward you for your trouble. We berserkers believe in second chances. It's your choice whether you take that chance or not. Who are you? I am Cormag, warlord of the Hammer Clan. Each of the clans has its own calling, and ours is magic. A gift given to us in our time of need. Proof that this planet needed a guardian, and that it chose us. We can channel power through our bodies, and battle the machines of the clerics. The power mana gives us seems limitless. And yet, it seems so normal now, doesn't it? It's hard to remember that magic is only a generation old. We have only just started our study of it. And the Hammer Clan has made that study our purpose. What do you think about your laws? Our laws bind us. They tell us who we are, how we interpret them. That is where we can do better. Death and exile shouldn't be the only sentences. There should be reward in repentance. Leniency could save us valuable people.
You think other berserkers are too harsh? Dedicated, not harsh. And sometimes dedication can blind us to other ways of thinking. Just imagine. If we Berserkers could enhance the Cleric's energy weapons, or the Outlaw's explosives with the power of mana, who could stop us then? Now, Angram would say that giving in to technology would destroy us. But I wonder whether holding on to the laws too tightly would do the same. After all, there were those who tried to stop using magic. They said it was against nature. Now magic is all that defends it. Whatever my thoughts, the laws we have now are the ones we must follow. Are there problems between the clans? Give any group a name and they'll use it as a cause for argument with others. But while there are always differences, we are all berserkers. Anyone who forgets that needs a swift reminder of their true allegiance. You have traitors here? Not traitors, troublemakers. People whose mouths move faster than their minds. You think we should use the law to silence anyone who thinks differently? I say they need to be convinced that our cause is best served if we work together. I've been saying that over and over, but it seems some people have stopped listening. Maybe they would listen to me. Perhaps. You could do me a favor and talk to Elder. He's been speaking out against the Isen clan but I'm not sure of the reason behind his anger. You will find him living with the other cultivators down in the cultivator house. I'd be grateful if you can find out the reason he's upset before this bad feeling escalates into something else. Okay, we spoken to all the warlords and those are all the important people and we will do those quests first then we'll speak uh, to the other people. But I wanna speak to Duras and uh, then open one more teleport and then uh, we will end this video because I need to go to the bathroom and we will continue in the next video. So, you decided to stick around? Well, I've been given a job by a warlord Ragnar that I think might suit you. If you want to stay around for longer. Tell me about the job. Well, the task I have on offer should profit you and... Though it's not the best way to sell our community to you, it should demonstrate that we're open about things here. You see, there was a murder committed just outside Goliath a few months ago. A rather dedicated berserker named Ascor was killed. There's been an investigation, but no definitive answers as to why he was killed. So, Ragnar wants me to follow up and find the murderer. And what can I do? Well, I'm having trouble getting answers from people. Maybe an outsider will have more success getting them to open up. Would you talk to the suspects and see what they have to say? Tell me about the victim. His name was Ascor. He was a warrior, newly promoted from Cultivator. Ragnar had high hopes for him, but Ascor wasn't popular. He went missing around Mana's Eve three months ago. No one knew where he'd gone. And it wasn't like he had many shards to up and disappear with. Then one of Ragnar's patrols found Ascor's body rotten up in the forest. It looks like he was stabbed several times with a sword. Whoever did it was strong enough to overcome him, but clumsy. They didn't find anything on Ascor to point to who might be the murderer. And you think I can find the killer? You're a stranger here. That means you might see things I won't. What kind of logic is that? To be honest, I think this is a dead-end job. But Ragnar, against all the evidence, seems to think it was a berserker that killed Ascor, and he wants answers. Me, I think it's a wild goose chase. None of Ragnar's questioning has thrown up any proof a berserker was involved in this, so chances are it was an alb, an outlaw, or a reaver. But if a warlord has an itch to scratch, then that means we have to go and scratch it. So. Let's cross all these suspects off the list and give them some closure. Is this why you brought me to Goliath? To do your dirty work? I brought you to Goliath to give you a chance. And this is a way to earn it by getting a warlord on your side. Does Ragnar think a berserker murdered Ascor? Ascor was killed with a sword, and there aren't too many people who use swords outside of Edan. But if Ragnar's right, 
then there must be someone who was outside the walls at the time of the crime. So, Ragnar drew up a list of five suspects. No idea why these five exactly, but Ragnar will have his reasons. I'll find the murderer. Ragnar wants answers. He seems determined to find out what happened. Myself, I don't know if we'll ever know what happened. But, if we can eliminate these five suspects, he might let this go. And who knows? Maybe one of them did do it, and you'll get the proof. Will the suspects talk to me? Tell them you're investigating on Ragnar's orders. They'll answer your questions. Let me know if you need help. Remember, my sword belongs to you. Who are the suspects? A group of people who were out there in the forest at the time of the murder. First on the list is Baron. He's a guard. Well, he's supposed to be a guard. As far as I know, he doesn't have an alibi. But I think the only real reason he's on the list is because he knew Ascor when he was younger. Then there's Thorgal. He's in charge of a world heart in Abessa. I have no idea why Ragnar would put him on the list. Maybe just to be complete. Third is Garen, a hunter. He was reliable, but he seems to have lost heart in himself. There's something troubling him. Last are Eirdor and Rock. Rock I can't get a handle on. There's something he's not happy about. Eirdor is still wet behind the ears. Bit of a whiner, but seems to care about his job. They were all outside Goliath at the time of the murder. What do you want me to ask them? Where they were three months ago around Mana's Eve when the crime was committed. What they thought of Ascor. I doubt you'll get a confession. I doubt any of them did it, but you'll get a sense of the men, and then you can report back to me so we can close the case. Where can I find them? They're all still out there. Track them down, then report back to me when you've discovered something. Do you think we make a good team, Duras? We're a team. I'm ready if you are. Okay, so the last question that we ask, uh, Duras, Duras will be our follower uh, when we do this quest. So, uh, it's really important to get some follower in the beginning. And this is the first one that we can get. And there's a teleporter that I wanted to open. So, um, we'll continue in the next video because I have to go to the bathroom and then I will continue recording. So, see you in the next one.